Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will try to create this add product form. We will try to add some more fields into this product form. Up to now, we have created only the title. Just for the adding purpose, we have did it, right? Let's enhance this pro add product form by adding this description, price, image and all those things. And design that product list page also. Here, if you go into our thing, and this is our product list page, which is looking somewhat not nice. Let's try to have somewhat design into this product list page so that we can have some products which can be viewed in a decent manner. But right now we are in the add product form. We are taking only the title. Let's add some of the fields like image, description and also the price. So right now image means I am taking the image URL only. I am not taking the file upload and all those things. We will try to discuss about this file upload also. How we can up. Uh, how we can uh, handle this file upload thing in the node.js we'll try to learn afterwards so here let's create some of the fields so this is your p tag right and in this one i am creating another p element in this one i am having let's copy this one entire thing and paste it here here i'll be having an image so it will also take an image and this is a text and this is of type name image and we'll be having another one that is nothing but here it will be taking the image URL not the image and here I'll be having a price so this is also a price so this is of type number so if you want to take any decimals and anything so you can mention step is equal to any or step is equal to 0 0.01 or something like that also you can mention it and this one is of price and last one is description description and here is also this will be description and here you will be having instead of input we will be having text area text area so you can have description so this one is also of id description instead of having this calls and all those things let's apply class is equal to form control okay in css it will be taking care that's it so these are the four fields which you are having title image url price and the description if you try to see the output, how the output will look like, let's try to see it. So this is the simple thing. So now I am having some sample images which I got it from the Google. So here I am adding sample product and this one is a sample URL and here I need to add something like 12.50 dollars. So here I can show sample details something like this. Now if I try to save add click on add product what we need to do we need to save the add product details. So where can we save this one add product Go, goes to the admin product controller and in this one we are having this add product page. So let's console the request data request body so request dot body so whether we are getting all the details or not. If you go into this one so if you try to save it. So sample product and here I am pasting this URL so price is 12.7 and description is sample description if I click on this add product it went to here sample product has been added and if I try to see the output the console the console we are getting this this one only right 10.5 not this one I think so let's try to save this one and here let, let's try to click on this add product i will try to add some details here and click on the add product if you go here and if you go into this one see we are getting this one as a null get add product sorry we need to show here not here in this one we need to show it right request that body in the get not in the get in the post so let's try to show it again add product I'm trying to add some details here so if you click on the add product if you go into this visual studio code here we are able to get those details so now what I need to do here I need to save these all the things in a JSON file instead of saving only the title I need to save the image so request dot body dot image and another one is we can save the we can send this request dot body just I want to show you so price request dot body dot price and the last one is a description request dot body dot description 
So these are all the details. It will go into the save product and save product will save it in the products.json file. So let's try to remove these all the things. So let's maintain it as an empty. And this is our product controller. And we can remove this console. And now let's go into this one. And here if I try to refresh, we should not get any details. Okay. And here I am adding sample sample product. Sorry, sample product. And here I can have okay. So this image. This image. Let's go on to this image. Price is 12.5. 12.6 sample product description so anything now if i try to click on the add product so we are able to see the sample product okay there's some exclamatory mark came okay no problem so here we need to design the product details if you click on this add product so sample product 2 and here let's take this bird thing image we are adding two product details so price is 14 and the description is also sample product sample product description that's it let's click on the add product now here we are able to get the two products now if you go into this one in the product.json let's try to remove this exclamatory one yeah so this is the json we have created right now let's save now let's go into this uh, home page.ejs file design this code so if products dot is there means then i can create a I can create a row here div class is equal to row and let's try to remove this one and where I need to add here in this one I need to add okay if it is there so let's try to press enter and here also we can take this one as enter and here this will go like this and here also we can add like this and this if will end, end here okay fine so now div class is equal to row here i can add div class is equal to call hyphen md hyphen 3 so each one i am looping over here first one is i can add a div class is equal to product so single product i am trying to show it here this is all related to the css so no need to bother and here i can have a div in this one i will be having image src is equal to so in this one i will be adding is equal to like this inside this one product dot image and i can have class is equal to img hyphen fluid so this is the image now h3 okay fine i can have a p tag explaining about the product dot description and i can have another one i will have another one is the price so here i will show the price mm, price is strong we can keep it in strong so here is equal to and in this one product dot price i am showing all these details so here i can have a dollar that's it if i try to refresh this page how it will look like so we are able to get this small details now what I want to do, so just we can have some border and all those things. Let's go into this main.css, main.css, we'll be having main.css. Here I can take the product and I can apply a border of one pixel solid hash e and if you want we can also apply a padding of 20 pixel or 10 pixel is enough and if you want we can apply a box shadow one pixel so anything one pixel one pixel hash e you can apply let's try to see how it will look like if i see the output yeah it's somewhat looking fine let's try to make the image as height fixed height dot product inside this product image height is of type 100 pixel so let's try to make this one as 100 pixel now if you see okay we can make it as the margin auto maybe it will be center i think it will be made centered i am thinking so it is not coming center why because so we need to apply here instead of this one we need to apply here class is equal to textile center so it is with the due right wrapped with the due so now it has become center 
now another one what we can do sample product and these are all the things okay fine so this is somewhat looking fine right so we can keep it like this so these are if you want you can have instead of having both the things we can keep it this one like this so instead of so now we have oh i didn't save it or what i saved it okay okay here this is the problem because of the reason so we are not getting the border okay fine so now this is how these are the product details now we have shown it in a nice manner so now when i am trying to add a product here sample product or something like this let's paste this again this one only image and here i can add it and the price is 12 and if i add it somewhere here so we are able to get these details so this is how we can add the product so we have created a new form per add product form and we have added here so let's try to add the view details add to cart these all the things let's try to do it one by one so that we can have a full shopping cart list hope you understood about this design add product and showing these all forms so it's a basic css thing only if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you